always kind of had a feeling I was going to be an editor of some kind, but I always thought there was going to be a book editor, um, which is what I did. I was a book editor for quite some time. And uh, after being a book editor for a couple of years, did a, a complete pendulum swing and became a blogger for New York Magazine. And I was writing, you know, 15, 20 blog posts a day and was really, you know, pushing hard. And that's exhausting, but wonderful. And um, that was sort of my journalism school in a box experience. And um, I had an incredible editor who is now a professor here, Aileen Gallagher, who taught me pretty much everything I know. And, um, and after three years of doing that, I found a, a kind of happy middle ground at Sever. I think my favorite thing I've ever worked on is not actually something I wrote, but was a series that I conceptualized, something that I came up with for Sever for Sever.com um, called Recipe Comics, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it uh, ran weekly for about five months and continues to run sporadically. Um, basically what we do is, is get in touch with comic artists and illustrators and cartoonists, and we send them the simplest possible brief. It's, it's draw a recipe, that's it. Um, draw a recipe in a way that someone could actually cook from it, and it, it shouldn't, you know, be a pun, like it shouldn't be a recipe for disaster, it should be an actual edible recipe, and do it however it makes sense to you. And what has come out of that has been extraordinary. There have been these just absolutely beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, things that are funny, things that are heartwarming, things that are unexpected, things that are really visually compelling. What didn't become clear to me until embarrassingly late in the game was um, that everything is a story. Even if it's a tweet, it's a story. When you get to the point where you become comfortable with the difference between what you say and what people hear, and you learn how to live within that space, and you learn how to manipulate it, and you learn how to harness it, that's when you become a really good storyteller.